Hey all, so in this video I want to show you how you can embed your live Twitch channel as an interactive live view inside a tweet. So before we do this together step by step, I just want to give you an example why you would like to do this. So let's say that you are going live on Twitch and you would like to do a tweet about it. So you head over to your Twitch page, you copy your URL, you go over to Twitter and you start to compose here. Let's say I am going live. So this is just an example and you paste in your Twitch URL and you tweet it. So the people who see this tweet will see this and if they click on it, it will open up and go directly to your page. And this works perfectly. However, let's say you instead did a tweet that looked like this instead. So I'm going to do a new tweet here. I am going live but I'm going to paste in a very specific URL here instead. So the tweet looks like this now. It's a bit different because as you can see, it's a different image, but if you click on this, it will actually open up your stream. So as you can see, I'm offline here now, so it's not super interesting. However, I did see that Co Carnage is on. So let's do another tweet here. I am going live. And this URL targets Co Carnage stream instead. So as you can see, I have another image here. And if I click on this here now, we will see that Co Carnage is here live. And as you can see here now, we do get a preview of the live stream in our tweet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step so you can do your own live preview tweets for your own Twitch channel. So as usual, there is a link in the description beneath this video. And if you click on that link, you will come to this page where I have created a wizard that will actually do this for us. So what we're going to do here in this video is basically go through this step by step together. So the first thing here is that we need to specify our Twitch channel name. However, as you saw, my Twitch is offline right now, so it's a bit boring if I take my own Twitch channel. You should obviously take your own, but as an example for this video, I'm going to stick with Co Carnage and put in his stream here instead. Next, we need to specify a page title, and page title here is basically whatever is written here in this uh, live view. I am now live is the same as this. So you can put whatever you want here. Let's say I write my cozy stream is starting. Then you need a page description and this is basically whatever is written down here on this section. And here you can write whatever you want to as well. But in this example, let's say we are going to write it is spooktober so let's play some horror games. The next thing we need to do is to specify an image icon and this should be a square image. And it is basically, if I reload this page here now, it is basically this image here. So let's just upload an image here. Bonk. And then we need to enter the super secret password. And if you don't know what it is, just click on this link here. And then we just create our card. Okay, so as soon as we've created our card, we can immediately use this in a tweet. So this is the URL for our card here. So I can just press copy URL, head over to Twitter, do a new tweet. And let's say I'm going to write, I am starting soon. And you paste in this URL here and let's tweet it. And then you will see that it will be a live preview if I open up. As you can see, the live preview is here and the title is here. My cozy stream is starting and the description is here as well. It is Spooktober, so let's play some horror games. And if you click on this, you will be redirected to the Co Carnage page, whatever Twitch channel you put there. So if you don't want to create a live tweets just to play around, you can actually use something called the Twitter card validator. So if you just click on this link here, it will open up Twitter's card validator. And here you can paste in the URL and you can see a preview of how it would look like if you were to create a live tweet. 
Okay, so let's head back to my website here. So on this page, I've also included some other advice. For example, if you don't want to use my domain, you can use the bit.ly URL shortener or the tiny URL shortener here. And there are some examples on how to use it here. And if you own your own domain, you can basically do your own 301 redirect towards the URL and it should work as well. So this was a quick video on how to create your own live preview inside a tweet. So as always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.